Psalm 101, verses 6 through 7, are still looking prophetically ahead to a time when Christ shall rule on earth. Verse 6 tells us, Christ's eyes shall be upon the faith of the land, that they may dwell with him. He who walks in a blameless way is one who will minister to Christ. Those who are not faithful to God will not likely be faithful to others who are struggling and still in need of a Savior. God will seek out those who are trustworthy, in whose trustfulness, truthfulness, honesty, and fidelity he can have confidence. The phrase, the person who is blameless in the way, implies that they are upright and of moral character, complete with his spirit, but not always perfect in action, even though they may be consistent and honest. These will become his confidence, advisors, prime ministers, and chief officers in the millennial kingdom. Verse 7 reads, He who practices deceit shall not dwell within my house. He who speaks falsehoods shall not maintain his position before me. God has the right and the power to choose those that he will accept into his family and with whom he is willing to spend an eternity. He makes it clear in the psalm that those who practice deceit will have no place in his house. As a child of God, we have you ever thought about your position before him? Can we, we can read about it in, in, in Ephesians 1, 3 through 6. Praise God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in heaven. For he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love he predestined us to be adopted through Christ Jesus himself, according to his favor and his will, to the praise of his glory, grace, and that he favored us within the beloved. God will expel from his appointment all sycophants and flatterers. Now, a sycophant is not a word that is regularly in our vocabulary, but one that should be instead of the coarse phrase reference that is regularly used in reference to such people. This is the way of the natural born person. We read in Psalm 78, 34 through 38, about the insincere inclination of our old nature. When he killed some of them, the rest began to seek him. They repented and searched for God. They remembered that God was their rock, the Most High, their Redeemer. But they deceived him with their mouths. They lied to him with their tongues. Their hearts were insincere toward them, and they were unfaithful to his covenant. Yet he was not, yet he was compassionate. He atoned for their guilt and did not destroy them. He turned his anger aside and did not unleash his wrath. On this side of the cross, we are cautioned to live within the precepts of God and the guidance of his spirit, to ignore flattery from brown nosers, for we know who really empowers us and is the source of life. Solomon writes in Proverbs 7, 2 through 5, Obey my commands and live. Guard my instructions as you guard your own eyes. Tie them with your fingers as a reminder. Write them deep within your heart. Love wisdom like a sister. Make insight a beloved member of your family. Let them protect you from an affair with the immoral woman, from listening to the flattery of the promiscuous woman. God cannot despise undue flattery any more than he can despise the flatterer. Verse 8 